You guys see that truck right there? See that company name up there? Let me make it even more clear to you. See that name right there? Night. I've been here for two weeks now. Two weeks now. Barely. And I've experienced things that other people shouldn't have. And I wasn't even going to make this video. But it seems as if Knight doesn't want to uh, escalate this situation that happened to me that I feel like was unfair. Everybody looked at it like, oh, I'm so sorry. But sorry wasn't enough for what happened. Yesterday, I went out to a shipper Walmart right I'm in Arizona in the boonies in the boonies tell me why buddy here well actually trailer side brakes lock up on me we have an issue they don't want to take off in the lane so there's two lanes there's one lane open for the other drivers you know our drivers we, we wouldn't like that of course but see, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything about that. If I would have left the trailer there, that would have been an issue. And I stayed, which turned into an issue. And that's why we're making this video. Yesterday, I went to Walmart at 9.45 in the morning, June 6th, I believe today is the 7th, 2022. Got to Walmart, check this out. <laughs> Breaks down, Knight calls out a uh, person to come fix the truck, right? Took three hours for him to come out. I'm three hours on their property. Guy said he can't fix it. He can't fix it because the container is on the chassis and it's blocking where he needs to get to. Boom, okay, that's out of my control. We know that I wasn't tripping, right? Tell me why about an hour or two later, I'm already calling. Hey, you know what's going on? I'm just sitting here, I'm stuck. They're like, oh yeah, we're figuring it out. Figuring it out. But you know my DM? I'm not gonna say anybody's names, but I love her. She's she's really cool. But you know, anybody that knows business, it's just certain people that can call the shots. Huh? It's certain people that can make something happen. But I realized that that wasn't her. And then it's, it's not her fault. But Knight didn't want to do it. So I'm at the property for six hours and 40 minutes six hours and 40 minutes night nobody called me a tow truck walmart comes up to me hey we got somebody on the phone we're gonna dial them in speaker phone driver you've been there for entirely too long we can't we can't do this we're calling the tow truck right now it's coming out of your pocket your expense a thousand dollars and the police is on their way so that we're pressing charges for trespassing. Mind you, I can't move this thing. The cop said if I would have left the yard with the truck, not the trailer, I, it would have been abandonment. Would have been charged. I stayed still, still pressed for trespassing. Huh? He runs my license, Casa Grande, Arizona Police Department. Officer runs my license. I got it. I got I got the uh, card and everything. He runs my license. They're checking for warrants. They want to make a little report just for their sake. But I'm here on business like any other trucker. Like any other trucker, I'm always on business. Why are you running my license for arrest warrants and all this type of stuff? Checking who I am like that. And I'm here to do business. I've done nothing wrong. I came to deliver for Walmart so that people out in the world could get their food and the driver on their property is told to leave can't go anywhere I'm in trouble either way that doesn't make sense I'm here to deliver for you I didn't do nothing wrong to any of your employees I told them that I couldn't move it's not that I didn't want to move it's that the truck wouldn't move so I wasn't being you know difficult defiant or whatever you want to call it I was just basically sitting there because I couldn't go anywhere and I was communicating with my company. 
and my company couldn't make a decision because when the tow truck co uh, company came, he didn't want to do it. So now the cop is just standing there with his arms folded like, you better figure it out. Because if not, he has to do what he has to do with me. Boy, as a driver, I had no business being in that. And my company should have dug me out that hole fast. But let it be known, anybody that sees this video and you want to go tonight, here you go. A number. You'd rather have that load, you feel me, taken care of. Huh? But the driver is about to be under the police, uh, detent, uh, being detained and all type of stuff. And you're telling K and R towing that you're not gonna pay for the tow. You have to argue with them just to make it happen. They almost didn't tow me. You know why K and R almost didn't tow me the other day? Because Knight never paid them for the last two hookups that they did. Two other drivers, two to three other drivers broke down. They told me I'm the third strike. They out if they don't pay. Made me sign for it. I've never been in a situation like this before, Knight. Yep. And the only people that understand and see a video like this and will want it taken down is the head up. And guess what? I have one of their numbers. He's not answering my phone. So guess what? Talk to me. Fix it. Because now I've been banned. You know what that means? I can never go there again or I get arrested. You know what else that means? I'm missing out on money from a frequent place that we go. Fix it. I don't know about this one, you guys. You want to you come to a company that care about you, right? Saying sorry is not enough. Fix it. Fix everything. Deal with deal with the uh, police department too. Cause now I'm just a number night transportation. But you want drivers? You want longevity? You might want to think about it.